departed from the ship that sank off at Star Island called the Jimmy Fisher. The wind chime was probably made in the 17th century. Wind chime expert Layla, who analyzed the find, said, It slept on the ocean floor, protected from sunlight and so it's really well preserved. However, some fish may have had a little nibble, decreasing the value by around 6 euros. We asked some islanders their opinions. Do you guys have any concerns? What? Thanks. So. I'm Rachel Amber and this was the latest... Oh, a shipwreck or something happened. Whatever. They found something valuable on an old ship. But anyway, welcome to part two of the Eurovision Song Contest special of Tamodachi Life. So, in the time between filming this part and the previous part, I made the songs from the first semi-final. Well, three of those songs, not not all of them. Because there would be too many. But anyway, let's watch some old me news first that have happened. So this one is... When Vsauce started a dating course. That's right. And Blooper was attending this class as well. I think this is what will motivate him to eventually date Layla. I hope so. Yeah, v but Visa's already is done. Wait. He said, look away. And this is exactly what Finland's song in Eurovision is called. Let's see. What is this? Oh yeah, this was Article 13 giving the news. Thousand people. I didn't even know that were that many to, that even knew about the island. I know if we should. You know what? I think that is enough for the me news. Let's go. Actually, I'm not gonna go there. Let's see if there are any important problems that need solving. Because I think I should end the episode with the three song performances. The way Samus is having a dream. A dream of failing Eurovision maybe and now this is what she has to leave the island. But she gets haunted by the actual giant heads of people actually do get to stay on the island. Samus, you had a problem. You want new clothes? Oh. You want to get a memory of the island. You need to. You want a photo of the island. Because you think it's already likely that you won't qualify for the frost. Semi-final. Oh yeah, I need to make thumbnails for these parts as well. So Samus took photo of... A roller coaster ride. The title is an unhappy prediction. An unhappy prediction. <laughs> Why is that? Yeah, I mean, I an it's an unhappy prediction because it predicts that you won't win the Eurovision Song Contest. That's what. Let's see. He wants to be friends with someone. Or something. Oh yeah, they had a fight. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. Let's see how this goes. I'm sorry too. Can we make up? Sure. So 
So what is the reward? Another disposable camera since I just gave one away. And Rick Astley. You wanna Rick roll someone? Okay, I guess so. But he already has a best friend. And so does everyone else that you have a growing friendship with. So, Darude is also having a dream. Do you, are you dreaming of a Eurovision failure as well? Oh no. It's a... This is actually a reminder of the tragic love story that's happening here. At least one of them has to be taken away from the island. This is a tragic love story of lovers getting separated. But how is it? But how much of a tra tra tragic love story is it? Well, there's only one way to show it. That's right, Darut and Samus have a love rating of 97%. A really good match, it must be fate. But as we all know what the rules of Eurovision say, at least one of them, those me's, has to be deleted. And that's why it can't happen. This is the tragic love story of Darut and Samus. Of course, this is Emma. I don't know if you should have- You already have two children, I- I'm already getting tired of Misa getting more and more children. But Emma, I think you should change your clothes. Yeah, this looks good. You and Link are not gonna have more children, because you already have two. And they are right here. Zelda and Santa can still have one more child. Anyway, um... I think I'm looking way too much. These are gonna be in tomorrow's special. I'm gonna give more explanation on them tomorrow. And Ascor, Ascor is having a dream. And yeah, Ascor is one of the... I'm actually gonna explain more about him later. Another ninja dream. I'm kind of getting tired of these because like it's great to get outfits the first time, but when I'm getting like one million ninja outfits, it's not longer. It's no longer that interesting. What? I'm doing this on camera, so it's no longer illegal. Well, it was never illegal in the first place. Anyway, is there anything else I need to do? Another love heart. Oh, it's probably the same one. But anyway, there's an evening market now open. So I'm just gonna buy a mystery bag. No, I'm filming this on Monday, but as soon as the first semi-final is over, then I'm gonna be filming the next two parts. And any me that doesn't qualify for the final will be deleted. Well, I'm not gonna delete them instantly. In fact, I was thinking of giving them the prison interior. But we need to get to the main point of today. Seeing the performances of Darude and the other two in running order so that means the root is gonna be first since he third in the actual eurovision song contest and the others are later so 
First song, Look Away by Finland. So if you want to vote, so if you want to see more of the rude in this series, make sure to go to vote for Finland in the Eurovision Song Contest if you are in one of the countries that get to vote in the first semifinal. Next up, I know it's actually not the rude singing in the actual song, but then again, none of the other performers are even in the actual Eurovision Song Contest. Next up, we have Samus. How do I really pronounce it? Yeah, this one. She's gonna perform a rap song. Well, based on the actual song in the Eurovision Song Contest. So here was a rap song by Samus and if you want to see more Samus in the series make sure to go vote for Belarus in the first semi-final. I just chose this song because I thought it fit the rap genre the most. There are lots of genres in the game that don't really have any song in the Eurovision fitting it. So, especially genres like heavy metal because actually the song that I'm gonna be including for that genre doesn't fit any genre. But anyway, next up is Paladophobian. Where is he? Or oh, there he is. Paladophobian. You know, if this was made a bit earlier, then this could have been included in the Paladophobian video that he made, where lots of people tried to say his name. But whatever. Let's do Say Na Na Na. And that's right, Pelodophobian. I'm actually planning to include include Pelodophobian in my Metopia series. So if you want me to be able to take the Pelodophobian me directly from Tomodachi Life, then make sure to vote for San Marino in the Eurovision Song Contest. But if none of them qualify, that means we already know that none of them is, are gonna win the me version of Tomodachi Quest. And I pretty sure. And I'm pretty sure that in the second semi-final there are means that are expected to do better. I mean, songs. But whatever, this is it for part two of Tomodachi Life Eurovision. And tomorrow we're gonna actually... F I mean, today there's gonna be the second semi-final... I mean, the first semi-final of Tomo uh, Eurovision is coming soon. So make sure to watch that as well. Except that when you're watching this video, there's a high chance it's already over, but whatever. 